Hello YouTube, hello YouTube. I'm coming with a word today, the children of light versus the children of dark. And I'm coming from John 12. I'm gonna go from, I'm gonna hit 36 first. I'm gonna hit the 36th verse. And it say, while ye have light, believe in the light that ye may be the children of light. These things spake Jesus and departed and did hide himself from them. Now I'm gonna go to 46 and it say, I, I am come a light into the world that whosoever believeth on me shall not abide in darkness. And if any man hear my words and believe not, I judge him not. For I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. He that rejecteth me and receiveth not my words had one that judgeth him. The word that I have spoken, me, I mean, the, the same shall judge him in the last days. For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me. He gave me a commandment what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whosoever I speak, therefore, even as the father said unto me, so I speak. Now I just had to read that before I start where I need to, what I need to do. First of all, I just want to say to the ones that get a lot of backlash or get rejected or get um, tore down or get prosecuted or tell you that there is no Jesus and they throw up all these other different uh, Bible, all these other different Bible verses. All these different other Bible verses. Wait a minute, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm backing up and trying to get this stuff. Wait a minute. Give me one second. All these different Bible verses try to use the um, New Testament versus the Old Testament. Try to uh, bring up the Hebrew Bible like um, they really know the spiritual world. Only ones know the spiritual world. And the only ones know what the Holy Spirit teaches them are the ones that have the anointing, the true anointing, not make believe anointing, not what they think the spiritual world should go or not what they think that is um, suitable for your ears, my ears or anybody ears, just as well as Jesus was taught by the father and spake what the father told him to speak. That same go for us. Whatever the Holy Spirit teaches us to speak or whatever the um, Holy Spirit give us downloads or things to say, that's what we speak. We do not speak what we want to speak and we do not say what we want to say. Nothing really pertains us. It pertains the world. Jesus, like he said, he did not come here to judge the world. He came here to save the world. When judgment come, the father will judge the world. So anybody rejected him, they will be judged, period. Rather you like it or not. Right now, you're going to like it because it hasn't happened to you yet. But when it do happen, believe me, you are not going to like it. A lot of people that is afraid of other people's opinions or uh, of other people rejecting them, because majority of the time, your enemies is your family. So when you grew up all your life and been programmed by your enemy, which is your family, now you gonna feel like that that is the way to go. Sometimes your families work for the enemy and won't even teach you nothing about the word of God. They don't even want you to be even, uh, say the name of Jesus in their presence. A lot of people reject Jesus, period. But as you are child of light, do not let no words, do not let anyone hinder your walk with Jesus, regardless if they believe him or not. Because as the word of God say, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Because when he appear, 
Them same words that people say that Jesus is not. Jesus is this. Hebrew book is that. This and that. This and that. You can tell the ones that truly do not read the word of God. They only hear search. They don't research. So when you get a lot of people that hear search, they speak search things that ain't even so. So don't even waste your time, your energy, fooling with people that is children of dark. Because the children of dark talks foolishness. Their wisdom is foolish to the father. They don't even have the wisdom of the spiritual world. So if you got access to the spiritual world, walk like it, talk like it, think like it, be bold like it, have power like it. Don't sit there and let no one tear you down if you have the Holy Spirit. The anointing is not to be tore down, it's to prosper. Only sin tears down. Sin do not prosper. I don't care how much it look to you that they're getting ahead. I don't care how much it look to you that they're doing all right. They is not going to show you that they're doing all right. They're not going to post that they're having a hard time and having hardships behind the scene. That's why the father said, believe in me. If you believe in the word, you believe in his son. His son came down so it couldn't be no cloak for sin. Now no one can lie, no one can deny. If they're not walking like the children of light that's prosperous, we're um, motivators, we give a lot of ambition, we full of joy, we full of love, we full of compassion, we full of understanding, we don't condemn, we don't judge, but we will stand with the word. We will stand on the word. We will not be intimidated. We, not, we will not take backlashes. We will not entertain foolishness. We, will, we do not see greater and less. We see nothing but souls. So therefore, you will know if you are around a child of light. Because us children of light give off light. We give off a big bright shine. You can tell the children of darkness. They're always gossiping. They're always pointing a finger. They're always in competition. If they got to be t even having conversations in competition. They're always trying to uh, always bring out what they got, what they have, what they're going to prosper. What they, they, they got so much to say. But soon as hardship come their way, they're the first ones hiding, crying, lying. Pointing the finger, having blame games, saying who didn't do this, saying this went wrong. They see everything but them. That's why you got to be vigilant and sober at all times. And listen, instead of being more of a speaker like me, I don't care who watches my videos. I'm not up here to entertain. I'm up here to bring the word of God to help people to get spiritually strong. And when if the Father uh, prosper you, then that's between you and the Father. I am only here to know what he did for me. I'm only here to tell you when everybody left me on side of the road for roadkill, thought that they was gonna take me out. The Father said, no honey, now y'all game is over. I done been through some stuff that can knock y'all shoes off, your feet off, if you wanna cut them off. I'm telling you, I should not be here on this live speaking to you. I am a living witness of how Satan can ruin your life if you don't believe everybody that tried to ruin my life even my family which was my enemies even my children even my uh spouses even my boyfriend i'm, I'm just saying because the last relationship i was in i got to call my boyfriend because he wasn't a spouse i stayed in a relationship for 10 years and we not we did not get married so i'm, I'm telling you how sin can overtake you if you allow it. I would not allow it. I walked away from everything. I gave everything up and walked away with nothing but me and my Jeep and my little $800 I had in my pocket. Didn't know where I was going to stay. Didn't know where I was going to sleep. I just walked and walked out on faith regardless of what. And everybody chip, 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 chip. I didn't care. Because if I would let them same people chip, 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 chat, 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 I would still be stuck in the rut I was in before I walked. So when people come for me, I don't even take down negative comments. I mean, really, nobody subscribed to my channel yet because I haven't did a live yet. 
because the computer I got is not right. So I'ma just keep posting and loading videos until I get a computer. I can get a computer, but soon the father say it's time, time it will. I'm not in a rush to have a whole lot of people looking at me because y'all can see my videos, believe me. You can see them, but I'm not one to say like, subscribe, and share. Like, subscribe, and share. I look on many other channels, and I love YouTube because it's a very powerful channel. I look on there, they probably got more comments than they got likes, and then on it's, it's like more views than likes, and then you got more comments than likes. Nobody wants to hit the little button. So I'm not going there to constantly say subscribe, share, uh, like, comment, whatever, whatever. Because people don't really look at you to, to really get the truth. Because if that was so, this world would have been fixed a long time ago. This world would have been on their P's and Q's when it came to the Father a long time ago. This world has waxed gross just as, like, just as well as the word say. In the perilous times, 2 Timothy 3, 3 to 4, this, these are nothing but lovers of themselves. The only thing that we doing, we're not scared and we're not intimidated to or up against those antichrists, those false prophets, those false teachers. We're not intimidated about their words. We're not intimidated of how many people view them. We are not intimidated of just because they got a congregation that's backing them that if they don't turn away from them gods and them idols that they uh, that uh, them worshiping them worshiping uh graven images sooner or later read the word of God. Our Father will tell you where you're gonna go. It ain't, it ain't no secret because he didn't write this word to be a secret. He wrote it to get right with him. He wrote it to believe in his son. So if you don't do so, just go into Revelation 20 through 22. It will tell you what it is and what it ain't. You can go on through the word of God. It will tell you what it is and what it ain't. That's why a lot of you do a lot of hear search and you don't do a lot of research. And Hosanna 4, 6, his children perish due to the lack of knowledge of him. The lack of knowledge means the word of God. Now y'all can read a, a manual how to put your phone together or you can read a manual how to put a car together or you can read a manual how to put an entertainment system together or anything in this world. But when it comes to the true manual, which is the true accurate prophecy of our life, everybody got so much to say because y'all trying to take the worldly things and add them into the word. The word is by itself, it's already written and it's already been settled in heaven. No one can add to it, no one can take away from it and you sure can't divide because the kingdom stands when nothing stands. His word will stand when heaven and earth don't stand. So therefore, it's, it's time out to try to be some type of professor or trying to handicap your congregation. Power them folks up. If you want to lead the father's sheep in truth and you're not doing the truth, tear your kingdom down. Never addresses. Tear your kingdom down. Never addresses. Do not feel like you can't be touched. Tear your kingdoms down. Nebuchadnezzar's tear it down because you don't want to get cursed and come out the open shame but you got to see God anyway you got to see him if you don't see nothing else in your life you got to see him because y'all done played with his name for so very long that you think just because he ain't did nothing that it ain't gonna be nothing well there's gonna be something and you ain't gonna like that something that's going to come upon you. So I'm here to just tell you, the ones that the Father called out, walk in your purpose. That's the whole thing about walking in your purpose. You got to be trained to walk with Jesus. Follow him. Pick up that cross daily. You can't be Jesus and you can't lead Jesus. Jesus got to lead us. We are the children. But I can tell you this, if you follow Jesus, you will see strength out of nowhere. You will have the, you will level up like no, no, I mean like never before. 
you would be amazed how wise you become if you just follow Jesus and allow him to show you the way. Yeah, he's going to take a lot of things from you. A lot of people are going to turn on you. And a lot of people had turned on me and I was good to everyone. I never gave anyone one little speck of evilness in my life. I always was that yes one. Yes, I got it. Yes, I, I put myself on the chopping block for you. Yes, I make sure you got yes. But when I followed Jesus... When, I, when that call came upon me in my bedroom and I followed him and I started saying no because I seen them for who they were and I was open up to the spiritual world, not the natural world no more. I'm blinded to the natural world, but I can see really clear in the spiritual world. They were nothing but wolves and sheep clothing. They were eating me alive and I didn't even see it. I thought they were loving me. And, but the, all along they were wolves and sheep clothing only using me for their downfalls using me for their motivation using me for their ambition using me for their finances using me for their wear and tear I was a bad lady a bad lady but now that I gave them all their stuff back now I'm a light lady I only focus on Jesus and Jesus is the only one I'm going to ever focus on. Guess what? No one talks to me. No one supports me. No one even come around me. No one don't even care. But guess what? Who cares? I got someone that's more powerful than anything. The creator that made this world. His son that died for the world. And the Holy Spirit that teaches the world if you allow him in your life. Other than that, I got a kingdom that backs me so good. Do you think I'm going to sit here and worry about who likes me and who don't like me? No, I don't have time to. I am so focused on my father. I don't have time for anyone. Shenanigans. For saunas. Fakeness. Darkness. Gossip. You don't, they don't have no motivation. All they do is worry about other people's lives, pointing a finger at other people, down in others, gossiping about others, seeing who they can overcome, seeing who they can intimidate. It's really real in the spiritual world. Ephesians 6.10. It's not about the flesh and blood. Don't think it is, because it's not. Blood thicker than water, yes. The, the souls on the world is water. Jesus is the blood. That's where the thickness come in. So these little sayings that they got going on, water, uh, blood thicker than water, you're right. Jesus' blood is thicker than anything. So if you know Jesus, if you love Jesus, you will follow him and walk away from all your sins. Now hold on to one, now hold on to two, now hold on what you think you need to hold on. And if you're going to follow Jesus, follow him in truth. Because they don't play lies. Lies don't. Don't, he don't play them lying games. You got to go on about your life when you start lying. But truth, he stands for. You're going to go through that narrow gate or you're going to go through that broad one. That broad one is for everybody. Everything goes. Everything approved over there. But if you're going to walk with God, he got boundaries. He got rules and regulations. Either you're going to follow or you're not going to follow. If you ain't going to follow, you will be kicked up and out. If he wanted all that shenanigans, he would have kept Lucifer. He didn't keep Lucifer. Lucifer didn't even want to give up the throne. I'm not going nowhere. They had to forcefully, violently put him out of there. They had a war in heaven because he didn't want to give it up. And you can tell the children of dark because they'll do foolish things to people. They'll hurt you. And then they'll come back right around and act like you're supposed to accept them without apology, without repentance. All they want to do is just hurt you and just come back around and smile at you. Hurt you, come back around and smile at you. Then probably talk to you, talked about you all over the world, smeared your name all over the world. But now... Just walk away from the whole situation and let other people find out who they truly is. And some people just don't really find out. I mean, it's sad to say, everybody not going to heaven. Don't look for it and don't be wishing on a star. You got to get that in your head. Everybody is not going to heaven. Everybody's not getting it. 
Everybody is not getting that, but it's many, many souls is going to go to hell, period. I'm just sorry to say, but everybody is not going to go to heaven. So why are you sitting here wishing and, and praying for somebody if they don't want the help and they don't want to put in the work for their own help and their own soul and salvation, that is not your problem. You can lead them to the water, but they got to drink. Do you understand? That's just the way it goes. The Father wants each, each individually, each individual, me, you, and whoever else, make our own relationship with him, not just for things, but for his true love. Not just for blessings, but for your true love. I love you, Father, through the good and the bad. He don't want you to just love him because he can bless you with things. Because, honey, if he can give you his son, this things on these things on earth ain't nothing to him. A life cannot compare to houses, cars, and money. That is least. A blood is valuable. Them cars, houses, and money is a uh, devalue. It ain't much value to them. It might look like it because that's how the, the world, the prince of the world, got it set up with many minds, got it set up that way, a religious selfie thing. But honey, no, it ain't no value in these cars and, and clothes and shoes and money. Every human has a human experience. I don't care if they're celebrities, as y'all call them stars, people with wealth, people with uh, mansions and, and homes, they're having the same human experience you have in abuse, divorce, being cheated on, being uh, molested, being raped, being all that. Satan don't have no pick people. He just put to the side and saying, well, honey, I, he got money over there. I'm not going to tell you that home. That's where he hit it the most. And that's why the majority of them sell their stuff. They only use as entertainment. That's it. They only use as entertainment. It's nothing big and, and bright about them. If it ain't Jesus, it ain't nothing. And that's just pure. Jesus is our celebrity. Jesus is the one you should be hallelujah and falling out and crying and fainting over. That's the one you should be doing that to. And folk. But when you taking the same soul as you, and worshiping and praising and fainting and falling that is the same identical species that you are, we have a serious problem and I see a whole lot of that. Just too much of that. But y'all be blessed. We're gonna try our best to get y'all to get it right. We trying to win souls. We ain't trying to lie to a soul. We ain't trying to tickle your ears. We're coming with the truth. And like I said, I'm not here to um, jump into your finances. I'm not here to tell you about no giant blessings. I'm not here to tell you nothing. I'm here to power you up for the one with the greater sin. So when challenges come your way, you will be strong enough and you will have enough faith. And you will keep the joy of your salvation instead of losing your salvation, instead of losing your, your uh, joy, instead of allowing the uh, darker one intimidate you through another soul. You will stand your ground. You don't need no degree to do it. You don't need no uh, big bank account to do it. You don't need no mansion on the hill. You don't need no palaces. You don't need no castle. You don't have to be a leader. The father wants y'all to be children. Me as well. Like we're supposed to be. Humble and meek. That's it. Other than that, no, you don't need all that stuff to be somebody. Because they're selling their souls. And I'm not, they're not giving their souls. They're selling their souls. Because if Satan give you anything, you best believe you got to get something in return. And that's your soul. Because you already know how the Father is. So if you know how the Father is, because he was in heaven, and we haven't even been in heaven, so he know how heaven is. So he know how it's going to be for us if we cross over. But that's his job to stop us from crossing over and burn with him. You tell him, no, devil. I'm not crossing over in nobody's darkness. You got me one time, shame on me. I mean, you got me one time, shame on you. You get me two times, shame on me. You get me three times, you got to give him the peace sign and you got to go the peace sign and you got to come on over here. 
Now, if you keep getting you over and over and over now, the blame is always on you because, see, now that there's some chosen children out here to tell you what you need to do is uh, set your eyeballs on the Word of God and start doing research instead of doing here search and come on in with us. We're not going to tell you nothing wrong. We're not going to tell you that you got to have this and that, that and the other. All you need is yourself. You don't even need an application. Just come on in here. We ready for you. Come on in here. Get the word. I'll mail you Bibles if you want me to. I'll get you the expensive Bible ever. But that is one prophecy. That is one, as y'all call it, a book that is written all over this whole entire world that nobody can't say they don't know about. The only thing you can say you don't do is read it. That's it. That's why it's a lot of lost souls because nobody wants to read it. But blessings to each and every one of you. I love you. I love you. I love you. My name is Aqua Anderson. And if you want to follow me on Facebook, you, you can. And look, I talk tough and I talk strong because I'm going to tell you, Satan is not a demon that you can sit here with and act like you can laugh and grin with him. He is very manipulating. He is very crafty. He is very cunning. And he will love bomb you every chance he get through humanity it's uh, it, believe me it's children of dark and like i said the majority of your enemies is your family your family the closest thing to you that's who he will use they tear you down your mother your father your sister your brother your siblings your children your uncle your aunt he'll use your spouses he'll use our animal believe me he gonna take he gonna give it all he got to tear you down but if you get into the word of God like you should, he won't have a chance with your life. Turn away from your wicked ways. Repent. Ask the Father for forgiveness and walk for the Father. And you will see how much abundance and peace and joy and love you will have over here. Man, you won't fear nothing. When things start coming your way, you'll be like, man, okay, whatever. Because it's no, it's no danger over here. The only danger is over here is you being danger to satan see satan down he gonna flee from you see you you getting bold enough to run them demons off you don't never let them demons run you off jesus didn't run from them demons jesus went towards them demons and they say jesus what you gonna do with me jesus you come to torment me before our time believe me they yeah, know the holy spirit and they know their own kind so a demon or a demon believe me and a demon know the holy spirit so if you really got the anointing and you really got the oil, you best believe people will flee because they cannot stand that shine. It blinds it. It blinds it blinds it them. It blinds them. It blinds them. Believe me now. When they don't come around you, they won't even know how to take you if you're a real true chosen child. If you're a real true chosen child, believe me, you ain't gonna have a lot of friends. And you ain't gonna have a lot of people that want to hear the truth. You best believe me now. They're not even gonna want to deal with you. They ain't, everybody that watch you is not for you. Believe me now. Don't get too excited. <laughs> Don't get too excited. I had 10,000 followers on Facebook. When I start walking in my purpose, dumb people flee. I might got six of them. But I'm gonna still speak. I'm not gonna stop. For what? Because they're not watching. They are watching. Believe me. They behind the scenes watching. Don't get it twisted. But blessings to each and every one of you. Much love.